Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And a very happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hi, Priya! Happy Mother's Day, lady! Only feels appropriate to start a Mother's Day live with Miss Priya. Yeah. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Marcy. Hey, Diane and Pauline. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Gail and Dawn. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Make sure you tag each other, alert everybody that we're live. Good morning, Kendra. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Bria. Good morning, Shauna. So Priya waits for no one when it's nap time. I tried to get out here before she went into her food coma for the day, but <laughs> alas, she's already in this big center den. Good morning, Chris. Hi, Helena. Hi, Denise. So a very happy Mother's Day to everybody out there with human and fur babies. Look at that pretty lady. Look at that pretty lady. If you guys don't know Priya's story, you should definitely read um, her profile at, on her bio page, bigcatrescue.org slash Priya. She's like, I'm gonna roll out of the way so you can no longer see me. Hi, Susan. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. Hopefully all of you have lovely plans today with your whatever types of babies you have. <laughs> my husband and I are both at work today, but we will be taking my mom who um, moved to Florida a couple years behind us and we'll take her to dinner tonight. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Sonia. Need to give you guys plenty of time to share this. I know alerts don't always work. And my plan, because for us here at Big Cat Rescue, all of these cats are our babies. I was just gonna kind of walk the tour path, see who's out and about. Good morning, Becca. You guys know that unfortunately Priya was used um, to speed breed cubs for the cub petting industry and because of all that breeding and because of all the babies that were born and immediately taken from her she had to fight for her life when she first got rescued and brought here and now she's an awfully carefree tiger good morning Jessica Sheila. Thank you guys for joining. There's Deb. Hey, Deb. <laughs> I was like, where is Deb? We've been here with Priya for a while. Good morning, Jane. She did show us her beautiful face and gave us a little bit of a, a whiny good morning before she decided that sleeping in the den was her plan for the day. Good morning, Carrie Ann. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Anita. All right, let's get going. Go on a Mother's Day walk about to see who all we can see. Since we basically love them all. I'm gonna go down to see what Duchess is doing. Breakfast is complete, so now we're just gonna see a lot of sleepy kitties, but that's okay. That's what 
Sundays are for, right? Well, for people that don't have to work. <laughs> Nap time. Hi, lady. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Gorgeous. This is Duchess. You know, Priya's not over here harassing today. Whoa. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> okay, is that where you're gonna stay? <laughs> very chuffy today. You are so very chuffy today. Climb into this plant to see you. Gotta climb into this plant. Is that your way of telling everybody Happy Mother's Day? I knew what, what you were saying exactly. She knew that translation. You're so gorgeous. Why are you so pretty? Why are you so pretty? You and that Kali. You and that Kali just have the best chuffs. Give me goosebumps. Yeah. They give me goosebumps. Walking. You look very sleepy. Very sleepy. Alright, sweetheart. You're only the second cat we've seen. We gotta keep moving. I need to get myself out of this plant. Outside of the barricade here. All right. You know, Aaron and I were just talking about that this morning. To my knowledge, Priya is the only cat here that had been a mom. That's not to say that there aren't others, but it's the only one that I fully know about. Most of the time before cats come here, they're in some pretty shady, terrible situations. So it would be, it'd be dumb for me to try to tell you that none of them were, but I honestly don't know. I even kind of wondered that about Val, but there were no signs that she had raised babies when she went through all of her procedures, so I don't know. Let's pop in and see if we can see Ariel. She's the only cat in the section right now, other than this is.
and she is out on top of her den. Find the right angle to show her. She's so very good at hiding. Hi, sweetheart. There's that beautiful Ariel. This is Ariel Bobcat. Oh, oh no, I'm back to my phone won't let me zoom. <laughs> it's just being very difficult. Here's Ariel. Yeah, same thing with Chaos. I'm not totally sure if she had babies or not. I know she was housed at a cattery, but that doesn't mean she was successful at being a breeder. <gasps> what are you doing? And again, no real information typically given from the bad guys that are out using and abusing these animals before we rescue them. It's not like anyone's keeping track of birth records and all that kind of stuff either, so it's like the Wild West out there. Ridiculous industry. What a ridiculous industry, Miss Ariel. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Oh, my bobcat loves. Oh, the bobcat loves. So pretty. She's like, I gotta keep my one eye on you for sure. I see that bobcat belly. I see that bobcat belly. Camera does not want to cooperate today. Got my camera raised all the way above my head, so I'm not reading anything you guys are asking at this point in time. So pretty! know we're uh, eight days into the new month I don't I have not seen a least sponsored list at this point so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that and see who might need the most sponsors this month the month of May of course you can always sponsor Priya in honor Mother's Day today or any of the cats here that you feel a connection with do that at bigcatrescue.biz. I'm going to see if there's a lovey somewhere. Oh, there is a lovey somewhere. Here, I'll swing out. I try not to get too close. Hi, pretty. Hi, Miss Lovey. You guys know that on Friday we celebrated the nine-year rescue anniversary of Gilligan, Lovey, Ginger, and Marianne. Miss Lovebug. Miss Lovebug, you look so pretty right there. Go figure, I don't have my camera. Go figure. Oh, figure. Everybody can take screenshots of the beautiful love bug. It was interesting. I posted a handful of photos from the Gilligan's Island, Kansas rescue, and on Instagram the day of their rescue anniversary. 
I had so many people in the comments like chewing me out for posting such graphic images and I'm like okay people like wake up like these are the types of places that are all over America and if you are ignoring them <laughs> then how are we ever gonna put a stop to them sometimes you have to face the noise and you have to like just take it on and mentally yeah it's scarring and it's it's traumatic but that's what keeps you going that's what keeps you fighting not only that, but I 100% was like, warning, graphic images. If this is uncomfortable, don't bother swiping. And of course, why would you post that? Well, because I need you people to wake up <laughs> and like know what we're trying to fight for here. Because that was such a gruesome, traumatic for human and animal alike was the Gilligan's Island Rescue. So, Miss Lovey. You've been here almost a decade though, enjoying like all the beautifulness of Florida. This is one of two of Lovey's favorite spots. She's usually, she really enjoys hanging out in the ferns, especially in the morning now. I guess she, she kind of, she used to really love her platform. Back when Mr. Howell was here, Thurston, who unfortunately passed away, he had um, a really bad seizure and, and passed away very unexpectedly several years ago. And, she used to be on the platform a lot with him. She doesn't do that so much now, but um, she really likes laying on top of the den and the next bubble over as well. Or there's a little niche on the side of it that she really likes to sleep in too. But here lately, she has really, she, you can see she's flattened herself out a little area in the ferns. Yeah, it, it, it's very frustrating for people that are like, do something, help this animal, but then they won't do anything themselves. And it's like, no, face the, face the noise, let it hurt your feelings, and then go fight for it. And that's how I feel about a lot of the rescues. Aaron, can you go to three? Um, All right, pretty. I know I want to stay here forever. You just look so pretty. And you didn't run away from me. Yeah, but I don't want to push my luck because I want us to be friends. All right, Miss Lovebug, love you. <laughs> All right. Well, since we're talking about Gillian's Island Rescue and I wasn't here Friday the day that we did the celebration of all the posts and stuff, I think that's what we'll try to do. We'll try to go see Mary Ann is around pop over and maybe see Gilligan, walk down and see Ginger. Ginger should hopefully be the next cat to move to the new serval area. Well, I see a maxi. My guess is Marianne's on the other side and that they're still separated, but we'll go in on this side. Magnolia tree smells amazing. <laughs> Hi, handsome. I know you're not part of the rescue, but now you're part of Marianne's everyday life, so I'm gonna show Maxie. This is Max Bobcat.
Where's your girl? <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a full belly look right there. Plus it's getting so humid out already. There's like zero breeze. Zero breeze. All right, where's the lady? Where's the lady of the hour? Go this way and see. We separate them at breakfast time because cats are solitary by nature. They don't really want to share food or space or toys or treats. They don't want to compete for any of that. So we take that option away from them and make sure that they know they've got their own separate space at feeding and enrichment time. Looks like an additional ladder was made over there for the Filmo project. Where's your girl? Oh, there she is. Probably still laying in her pile of money. It's the end of last week. Afton and I came out and quickly handed out the rest of the give day enrichment that the small cats had. Isn't that pretty? You looked so pretty in that spot. So it looks like there's money all over the ground. Oh goodness. It's just fake money. It's just fake money, Marianne. Sorry. Pretty. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to sit on this box. The box was really cute, but Max knocked it over immediately and it was only painted and decorated on one side. So it ended up just looking like a random white box. But on the other side, it was a lottery ticket. A cat a cool cat scratch off which was so cute Spit some water I just saw somebody ask a question about summer and I'm sorry I didn't see what the question was but if you guys missed it, um, they took summer back outside on Saturday. Now that we know Orpheus has Khaleesi virus and another one that I can't even pronounce, I was like, good grief. Um, we wanted to make sure that summer was completely out of that same building with him. So now we are watching her closely for the next two weeks. I believe also it was determined that Summer is unable to eat whole prey any longer. So she unfortunately can't seem to pass the fur um, from eating rats, which is unfortunate because she really liked them. But thankfully she also eats mush, which is the equivalent on what we would have to be giving her to make sure she's getting all of her nutrients. But yeah, unfortunately we had to get her out of the same building with Orpheus. He is improving, like he's definitely doing better than he was a few days ago, but we need to watch him very carefully. Pretty Marianne. So Summer moved outside to Rehab Cage 2. It's the enclosure that Kahira and Birdie were in before we released them back into the wild. And um, we'll be observing her for two weeks. That's why we did not put her back with Autumn. We want to keep that separate as well, just to ensure that nothing was cross-contaminated. And I believe Summer has access to the entire cage too. So in every section, there's different toys, different coolaroos, different swings, different platforms. So, so yes, very good vibes to all of our rehab babes right now. We still have winter in cage four, autumn is in cage one, summer is in cage two, and Orpheus is in the 
adult bobcat hospital room and the rehab hospital. Oh, now are you following? It's like, where are you going? You can see Max from over here. Yeah, I'm not your cleaner though, so I can't, can't just let you in there. All right, let's go see if we can get our eyes on Gilligan. As far as a Gilligan update, he's still doing about the same. Um, so occasionally we see him straining to go to the bathroom, but occasionally we find that he has gone to the bathroom. So he's just not as consistent as we would like, but he's been taking his meds really, really well. So I think if we get a couple of weeks of him being really consistent on that, that should help. They've adjusted his diet and everything. Where's my little girl? I can't not see my girl on Mother's Day. Smalls, we'll take the long way to see Gil again. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. You're my girl. Oh, you're my girl. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> you have all kinds of pep in your step today. All kinds of pep in your step. in that step today. Hey, Carla. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Special girl. That special girl. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you on the other side. <laughs> I said I'd meet you on the other side, silly. going all the way down to the end? <laughs> Hi! Oh my girl. And mark all your toys. All those toys. All them toys are yours. Still just a purring. <laughs> yeah. 
you're so perfect. You're so perfect. Is Gilligan out? Whoa! Gilligan's out. Whoa! You are feisty, I can tell. Usually long amounts of purring is the wind up to the zoomies. Where are you going? Gilligan. as soon as I go to walk away. Yeah, I was like, she's gonna come running back. She's gonna come running back. I could tell. I could tell. What's she looking for? Oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> I guess we're getting some small zoomies for Mother's Day, everyone. She likes to wait till she thinks I'm like leaving. What's that old Gilligan doing over there? What's that Gilligan doing over there? She's <laughs> playing with a random nothingness on the ground. She has all these toys. She always has to find like a leaf or a rock. Oh, I see why she keeps looking up. There is a cardinal up there. small girl I'm going next door bye <laughs> maybe you might have really lost her this time well and we lost Gil again where'd he go Mr. Gill, you were just right here. Oh, hi. Hi, handsome boy. Hi, handsome boy. Hi. Love you, that's what that means. <laughs> what you looking for? Good hiding spot? He's trying to mark everything too. Kids are so silly. Let's go see Frankie too. Yes, we can't see all these love bugs today and not see Frankie. Right? Go see your neighbor.
There he is. I had a feeling you were going to be in there. Hi, cute boy. Hi, handsome. Mr. Frankie. Mr. Frankie. <laughs> You're so handsome. You're so darn handsome. Thanks for coming right over. That was so nice of you. It's so nice of you. Yeah. You're so darn cute. That face is so darn cute. Sweet boy. There we go. There we go. Now we can have some Frankie hangs. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> get that wild tail. You get that wild tail yours. Watch your little rattlesnake tail go in. get to be so sweet. They said you were so grouchy. The place you came from said you were so grouchy. You're so sweet. A very good Zen moment, Sarah. Zen moment. <laughs> what was that? Are we digesting breakfast? Are we digesting the breakfast? This might be our most perfect, most perfect ending here. So I think that Frankie will be our last cat. If you guys missed any of this, you can rewatch it daily, bigcat.com or Big Cat Rescue Twitter or right here on our Facebook page. We started with none other than, of course, Priya Tiger. And then I followed my mother's day heart and I showed a bunch of bobcats. So <laughs> that's how that worked out. That's how that worked out. Thank you very much if there were any donations today. Also, if you need last minute Mother's Day gifts, Jamie made some really cute downloadable um, photos, a handful of different cats that says Happy Mother's Day. And for a donation, you will get that download emailed to you. That's at bigcatrescue.biz. Just search Mother's Day. 
instant gratification gifts. Right? All right, Mr. Love. Mr. Love, well, thank you guys very much for joining me on this Mother's Day. Again, I hope you all have a safe, happy, healthy, wonderful Mother's Day, whether it's for human or fur babies, or just the fact that you love these fur babies here at Big Cat Rescue. We can't thank you guys enough for all your support. So have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you guys throughout uh, the coming week. All right, my sweetie pie.